Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a uh, loom tutorial and in this loom tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple loom bracelet, the basic ones basically. <laughs> so the colours I'm using are going to be purple and I'm also going to be using orange. You can use any kind of colour you want. It doesn't have to be purple and orange, but you can use them if you want. And also with these bracelets, you don't have to use one colour. You can also use three colours, four colours, five colours, any amount of colours. So yeah, let's get started. So you're going to start with your loom. And it doesn't really have to be a certain brand of loom. It could be any kind of loom. Uh, so I'm going to be using my DIY loom kit. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so your uh, arrows on your loom board, they're going to have to be facing up. And on my loom board, it doesn't really come with uh, the big red arrow. It only comes with like the see-through ones. Can you see that? No, I don't think my camera, I don't think my phone wants to focus. But it comes with arrows, it has arrows and they're see-through arrows. arrows. So um, you're going to start with your arrows, they're going to be facing up. And yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so you're going to take your first colour, and my first colour is going to be purple. And you're going to start from the centre to your left peg. And you're only going to be using uh, your centre peg and your left pegs. So let's start with your, your, your first colour. You're going to go from the centre... To your left peg so it looks like that then you're going to get your second color and you're going to start with then you're going to go with your oh and also don't forget to push it down you're going to go with your left peg to your center peg you're going to push it down then you go you're going to take your other color and you're going to go center to the left peg and you're just gonna carry on doing this from your center to your left your left to the center center to the left and left to the center you're just gonna carry on doing that until you reach to your top left peg and if you reach to your uh, top center peg then you've done it you have to add one more band to go to your top center peg so you're going to go up to your top left peg sorry i meant to say so go all the way up to your top left peg and i'll be right back so i've just uh finished putting on my bands and i've reached all the way up to the top left peg but if you haven't done that yet um you can just go ahead and pause this video and you can just finish that so now we're going to move on to the hooking process so what you want to do, you want to flip your loom around so your arrows are facing towards you and you're going to start with the center peg, not your uh, right peg. Well, it's your, not your right peg because you flipped the loom around, but you're going to start with your center peg because if you hook on your right peg, there's nothing really there. There's no like bottom uh, bit, band, so you're going to start with your center peg. So you're going to go ahead and take your um, loom hook that comes with the loom or you can use a crochet hook because they both work the same. And what you're going to do, you are going to dive down. So your so basically your hook part is facing away from you and you're going to dive down and you're going to take, you're going to push away your top band and you're going to grab your bottom band and you're gonna place it back on to the same peg where it came from so now your this band basically um your first color band is going to be stretched out and then what you're going to next do is you're going to do the exact same thing so you're going to take your bottom band and you're going to hook it to there and i'll show you that now so again, you're going to go in, you're going to 
push your top band away and you're going to take your bottom band and you're gonna hook it back onto there you're gonna do the same thing to this push all those bands away you're going to take it like this oops sometimes they slip off but if they do that's okay so you're going to take it going to take it off that peg and you're going to bring it to the other peg um so it should look like this for now and um i totally recommend actually using two colors because when you're doing your hooking process it makes it much more easier to work with so you could basically see your colors more easier and um you could also use uh, three or four colors and you can even just use one color but if you're a beginner and you're just starting this and this is your first bracelet that you're making i highly recommend using two two or three or four colors instead of just using one color so i'll just be right back when i finish hooking so i've just finished doing my hooking process and um it should look something like this uh so you're gonna finish here onto your last band right here and uh, the way you know that it's been hooked properly is that as you can see right here it's pulling this one it's pulling this purple band this orange band is pulling this purple band and if you see absolutely nothing here so like if you turn to the side as you can sort of see if you can't see any bands that are wait sorry this phone is not focusing properly Maybe if I turn that, yeah, that's better. Okay, so if you see like bands that are kind of separate, like if it's down here or something, and it's just one big like circle, that means it's not being hooked properly. And um, to do that, it's really really easy. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to take one band, like the top band from your orange one, and you're gonna hold it, and you're going to take the bottom that bottom band that is not being hooked and you're going to slide this orange band underneath your purple underneath that band that's not being hooked and you're just going to place your that band back here so safe so basically that orange band whatever your color was you're going to place it back on the peg that came from so anyways taking I'll show you taking off the whole entire loom bracelet now. So just give me two seconds. So what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to stick your hook right there at the top where you finished, not where you started. You can tell that this is where you started because it's stretched out really, really widely. On this one, it's not really stretched out. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to stick it in there and you are not going to get any of the bands. You're just going to leave it dangling a bit like this and then you're just going to pull it off like that and you're going to go to a side to side motion taking off your loom bracelet and if one of them just one of them slips off like if one of them hasn't been hooked then that's just going to ruin your whole entire bracelet so then so it looks like something like this it's a big chain and then you're going to take an S clip or a C clip. So let me just get one. You're going to take an S clip or a C clip. I got an S clip right here because I live in, I'm in the UK and uh, they don't really sell any C clips here. So what you're going to do, you're going to leave this, you're going to leave this on your hook for now. And you're going to take this rounded part that is completely hooked onto the that's completely attached to this so basically it's not going to come off and ruin your whole entire bracelet so what you're going to do you're going to take it and what i like to do i like to stretch it like this 
and then you see this gap right here between my fingers I like to take my S clip or my S clip and you're going to just hook it like that and I find it easier when you stretch it because it makes it more easier to uh, put on and then oh sorry guys my tripod fell okay and then what you're gonna do you're gonna take it off the hook but before you take it off mine just like slipped off <laughs> you're gonna pinch you're going to pinch the one that was underneath it and then you're going to take uh, your other side here that has already been attached to this one you're gonna take it and you are going to do the exact same thing you're gonna put it like that and you're gonna take your other side and then just gonna place it on there just like that so now you have a basic moon bomb bracelet thank you guys for watching this video i hope you please sub comment rate and subscribe this video and thumbs this video up as well if you would like to see some more loom bomb tutorials i will i will be teaching you how to make a triple single a uh, starburst uh, bracelet and many more so bye guys